Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Starting off the news this week, and indeed ending the news this week, is a two-in-one story. NASA's Perseverance rover has been taking some remarkable pictures of Mars throughout its time there, and it's fascinating to see some of these really high-quality images of the red planet. It's a little hard to find them specifically on the NASA website, so below I've linked to the BBC News article about it, which compiles them a little better. I'd recommend you check it out. In a similar story, NASA has released an incredible image that the Hubble telescope took of the galaxy NGC 2336. This galaxy is 109 million light years away from us and is a whopping 200,000 light years across. I'm afraid that's it from me, but Ben will explain all in his upcoming segment. Thanks, Doug. Also in the news this week, there's been not just one, not two, but three new species of dinosaur named. First up, we have a new troodontid theropod from Europe. Tamaro Inspiratus. Coming from rocks in Spain that date to the very end of the Cretaceous, within 200,000 years of the KPG extinction in fact, this animal is based on an isolated metatarsal that was compared with other theropods and was found to display some very unique anatomical features, supporting the placement as a new genus. Within the Troodontids, it was found to belong to a grouping that before now was only known from Asia, seeming to have migrated to reach the European archipelago that existed at this time, either sometime before the Cenomanian stage or during the dispersal events that happened in the final stage of the Cretaceous. Additionally, the paleontologists found that this was an actively growing subadult at the time of death, and that it may have had a growth pattern in which it grew fast at a young age to quickly reach its subadult size. So a brilliant discovery that adds to the known dinosaur fauna of the end Cretaceous European archipelago. The next in our list of new dinosaurs is the first rubachisaurid from Asia, Jara Titanis kingi. Coming from Upper Cretaceous rocks in Uzbekistan, it's based on a single tail vertebra, and a phylogenetic analysis has found it to be placed within Rubachisauridae, a grouping of diplodocoid sauropods. This is therefore the first occurrence of these animals in Asia, adding to their already fairly widespread range, and certain shared features with other sauropods hint that this new taxon may have been derived from European rubachisaurids. So, another interesting discovery that continues to further our understanding of these ancient organisms. And finally for the new dinosaurs this week is another sauropod, this time a titanosaur from Patagonia, named Ninja Titan Zapatai. Based on various postcranial bones that come from a lower Cretaceous formation in Argentina, a cladistic analysis run by the paleontologists discovered that Ninja Titan can be considered the earliest titanosaur so far known to science. Various features of its vertebrae do indeed support its placement as a member of Titanosauria, and the paper explains how the presence of a basal titanosaur of this age in Patagonia supports the idea that these animals originated in the southern paleocontinent Gondwana. Another amazing dinosaur discovery this week, then, that has allowed paleontologists to learn even more about the origins of these incredible giant reptiles. Back to Doug in the studio. Thank you, Ben. That's it for 7 Days of Science this week. I do hope you enjoyed, and as always, we'll see you on Sunday.